صباح الخير افري وان كي دايرين واش لاباس نتمنى تكونوا بخير ويلكم تو نيو مروكن عربي كورس ان تودايز ليسن وي ويل ستادي اباوت ذا فاميلي ان داريجا باي ذا اند اوف ذيس كلاس يو ويل بي ايبل تو توك اباوت اند ديسكرايب يور فاميلي ممبرز Before we start today's course, do you have guys any questions about the Moroccan family? Yes, of course, Ousted Fuad. My question is how are the family ties in Morocco? Family ties are very important in Morocco like any other Arab or foreign countries. Sons and daughters stay with their parents until it's time for them to get married, create their own family and then move to another house. I heard that some sons and daughters keep living with their parents even after marriage. Is that true? Yes, John, you are right. But especially men from the old generations, they were the only providers for the family, so they get married and live with their parents. But I think the new generations prefer to be independent But there are still people who live with their families even after marriage. Sometimes it works and sometimes it does not work. Especially if the wife and the mom don't get along really well. Thank you, Ustad Fuad. This is very interesting to know. My pleasure, John. I always appreciate hearing your questions. They are very, very important. All right, guys, so let's study about some important family vocabulary. Then we will practice what we studied in real life. So the first expression is Heda. Heda is a demonstrative adjective, which is this in English. Uh, we use it in Morocco, especially when talking about a masculine like thing also people the opposite would be haji so hada haji hada for masculine haji for feminine next jiddik min muk it means your grandfather from your mom's side جدك من مك. The next one is جداك من بك which means your grandmother from your dad's side ولكن it means but ولكن باقي حي باقي حي It means he is still alive باقي حي And باقي حيين باقي حيين They are still alive ما عندي ما نقول ما عندي ما نقول It means I have nothing to say I am speechless The second one is عرفنا بهاد البنت عرفنا بهاد البنت which means introduce us to this girl The next one is عرفينا بهاد الولد عرفينا بهاد الولد which means introduce us to this boy In this example, we are asking a girl, Arfina. Arfina bhad lwild. The next expression is Arrafni brasak. Arrafni brasak, which means introduce yourself to me. Next, can qaddam leak. plus name of a person which means I introduce you to a person for example 
كان قدم لك فؤاد I introduce you to فؤاد or I introduce فؤاد to you The next expression is كان قدم لكم plus the name of the person in this case you are introducing somebody to a group of people for example كان قدم لكم ماريا I'm introducing Maria to you guys. The next word is Tilmid. This is very simple. It means a student. The next one is Ustad, which means a teacher. Ustad, a teacher. Next, Nas. Nas means people afak afak means please next marhaba bik which means you are welcome when you're saying it to one person but when you say it to a group of people you say marhaba bikum marhaba bikum The next expression is Smiya Dial which means the name of the plural would be the names of which is Smiyat Dial Smiyat Dial is the plural The next word is Lfamila Lfamila simply means the family Okay guys, this is the second list. Here is the first expression. Ash kajik plus a name of a person, prefer preferably uh, a girl. Uh, for example, Ash kajik Lina, which means what's your relation to Lina? Or how are you related to Lina? Next, Ash Kajik plus a name of a person. In this case, we are asking about a boy, which means like, what or how are you related to this man? Or what's your relationship to this man? For example, Ash Kajik Simo. Ash Kajik Simo. Next, Rajal means a man. The opposite is Mra, a woman. Next, Lab, which means a father. Lab. Next, Lum. The mother, الأم, الأخ, الأخ. It means the brother. الأخت, الأخت. The sister. الجد, الجد. The grandfather. الجدة. الجدة. The grandmother. The next expression is وش عندك plus a member of a family. Which means do you have and you say the member of the family. For example, وش عندك الجد ديالك. Which means do you have your grandfather? The next word is Matu. They died. Matu. Next. Allah Yarhamhum. Allah Yarhamhum. Which means may they rest in peace. The next expression is وش تقدر تقول 
can you say which means can you say in this case we are asking a man if you are asking a woman you can say wash تقدري تقولي wash تقدري تقولي next صغيرة it means younger it also means small كبيرة it means older and it also means big all right everyone now lena will visit my family members in my own house and she will use the expressions we just studied so stay tuned and please pay attention assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam فؤاد عرفنا بهذا البنت واخا كنقدم لكم التلميذه ديالي لينا مرحبا بك فؤاد اشنو السميات ديال الناس في فاميلا ديالك عرفك واخا هادي فتيحه هذا محجوب هادي صباح هادي ليلى هذا سيمو اش كتجيك فتيحة انا الام ديال فؤاد واخا اش كيجيك محجوب انا الاب ديال فؤاد اشنو كيجيك سيمو انا الاخ الكبير ديال فؤاد و اشنو كتجيك صباح وليلى انا الاخت الكبيره ديال فؤاد انا الاخت الصغيره ديال فؤاد واخا متشرفين احنا متشرفين واش عندك جدك وجداك من باك لا جدي وجده من با ماتوا الله يرحمهم ولكن جدي وجدة من أمي باقي حيين الحمد لله وخا الله يرحمهم سمح لي أمين ماشي مشكل لينا واش تقدري تقولي السميات ديال فاميلتي إيا نقدر باك سميت محجوب موك سميتها فتيحة خوك الكبير سميته سيمو اختك الكبيرة سميتها صباح اختك صغيرة سميتها ليلى ما عندي ما نقول مزيان That is all for me for today I hope you understood the lesson very well I make a very big effort to make these videos for you guys, so I would really appreciate it if you leave a comment, share or subscribe to this channel. I also offer online classes as well to people who want to study more and become more fluent in Darija. So if you are interested in those classes, please contact me in the email that you will see now. Shukran bizaf and netshaufu min in another lesson. Bye-bye. Thank you.